Cruciani, and today I'd like to show you a couple examples of the idea of impulse. Impulse is a change of momentum. It actually depends on two factors. One is the force that's applied, and the second one is the amount of time that that force is applied. And both of those factors will ultimately determine what the velocity of an object is. Now an impulse can be accelerating or it can be decelerating. Let's look at the impulse of pitching a baseball. First thing I might do is have a student take a foam ball and throw it as fast as they can. You can see that they start throwing the ball from back here all the way through and releasing it here. So the length of their impulse is from here to here. They're accelerating all the way through and they can get a lot of speed that way. We see the ball go very, very quickly. So once we've done that a few times, now what I'd like to do is cut their impulse in half. So to do that, I actually have them stand against the wall and now try and throw the ball again. Their impulse is only this long, so as you would expect, the ball is going to go a lot slower. And if I want to take it one step further, I may actually have a student hold their hand in the next step. They might hold their hand and keep them from going back any further than this. So their impulse might only be from here to here. So as we make the impulse shorter, we would see it a much lower velocity because the time has been shortened. So that's our first example. The second example of impulse has to do with an egg and a sheet. Uh, <laughs> I had students, I had two students take the sheet and actually hold it upright in the air and they then turn the bottom part upright and what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll throw it, I'll have students throw the egg into the middle of the sheet as hard as they can to see if they can break it. As you can see, it didn't break. But what about if we take that same egg and we were to drop it about 15 or 20 feet and let it hit the floor? Would we see the same type of results? Well, that certainly was a much different result than when we threw the egg into the sheet. Uh, the difference, of course, is that when the egg drops and hits the ground, it's a sudden deceleration, so there's a tremendous amount of force. It's a very, very quick impulse versus when we threw it into the sheet. If you watch the sheet very closely, you'll see the sheet actually go backwards a little bit. It actually moves back about a foot or so, and so it's slowing the egg over a much larger distance, a much longer time, so the force is decreased enough that the egg isn't broken. Okay, so there's one more example that I'd like to show for impulse. And this one's going to start with a piece of paper, and I'm going to roll it into a long, narrow tube. Uh, I'm going to use this wooden dowel as a guide here, just to make it a little bit easier for me to roll it. I'm going to take some tape and uh, seal the edges. all along the edge. So here's my tube, my paper tube. And to demonstrate impulse, what I'm going to do is use this as a blow gun. Now I have these rubber darts here, which work very nicely. You could also do the same thing with uh, mini marshmallows. They work nice also. But anyway, we're going to start off by simply putting a dart in here and blowing parallel to the ground and then seeing how far it travels. Trial one. After a few trials, what I'm going to do is then change it slightly by, uh, we're going to put a dart in, and we're going to, to take some scissors and cut a piece off the tube, and then we try it again. Trial two. Okay. 
that bounced about two feet. So put it about two feet in front of that. Get another dart, cut some more of the tube off. We're going to keep doing that several times. Oh, I apologize. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. As you would expect, the distance that the dart travels becomes shorter and shorter, and the students can, can grasp the idea that we're changing the length of the tube, that's changing the amount of time that the force is applied, and the result is, of course, the darts aren't going to go as far. So these are three ways that I have of demonstrating the idea of impulse. Uh, they're easy, they're fun, uh, the kids have little trouble understanding what's going on, they can see it for themselves, they can try it for themselves, and <laughs> hey, they're fun. So anyway, thank you for watching. I have other things I want to show you, so come back and see me again. All right, thank you. Bye.